Hey there, happy Monday. No, that's a stupid thing to say. Happy Monday, like, no, no Mondays are ever happy. Mondays suck. Mondays are the literal worst. Like, I don't care how much you love your job or your career. No one wakes up on Monday morning and is like, yay, it's Monday. Just does not happen. But I hope that this video makes your Monday a little bit better. Today we are talking about how to batch edit photos so that your whole group has a similar editing style. This is something that is really, really important for all kinds of photographers, whether you do wedding, editorial, fashion, nature stuff. Usually you're going to be delivering more than just one photo. So you want to make sure your whole collection has a similar look and feel so everyone knows it's part of the same group. They all look good together. You're awesome. You're acing it. It's just great. So this is something that's really easy to do and it's going to save you a ton of time. So let's get at it. So open up Lightroom and go over to the develop module. The develop module is where we do all the editing in Lightroom. Now what I'm going to do is I have my collection here and I've actually gone ahead and edited the first photo. So here's the before and here's the after with my basic edits done to the photo. Now these are the basic edits that I want to be on all of my other photos in this series so I don't have to go in one by one editing all of these. So the easiest way to do this is go ahead and pick your photo and hit shift and select all of the pictures. So they're all highlighted here. Then what I'm going to do is on the right hand side there's this little button that says sync. So click that this is going to open up the synchronized settings panel. So what this allows me to do is pick and choose which elements I want to copy to all of the photos in this series. I usually pick everything, but I never ever do the local adjustments, spot removal or crop. Why I don't do those is you really need to do those elements by photo. Cropping, you need to know the framing of the specific photo. Spot removal and local adjustments really need to be done on a photo by photo basis as well. So I unpick those three, but everything else I keep. So then just go ahead and click synchronize, wait for a second, and there you go, they are all edited. So as you can see, it put that same editing style onto all of these photos. And now you may have to go in photo by photo and tweak a few things here and there, but for the most part, you just saved yourself a ton of time, which is awesome. Now sometimes you might not want to copy the settings to all the photos or you're just working with a few photos, so there's also a fix for that that you can do. Highlight your photo and actually do Control or Command C and you're gonna bring up the copy settings. So you can do this just the same here. Pick the elements that you want, copy, pick the photo you wanna to go to, control or command V, and it'll just paste it onto that one photo. Why sometimes I do this is I'm not actually sure of the editing style I wanna go with for the whole group. So maybe I'll copy to the next one and try that one with maybe like a cooler edit. So then I can go ahead and compare the two and kind of look at them to decide which editing style I wanna go with for the whole series. Now the last way to copy your editing settings to a new photo is of course to just go ahead and make a preset. I made a whole video about this, I will link it up above, but basically let's just do it right now again. Just click your photo, go over to presets here on the left side, plus create a preset, name it, cool, new, preset, boom, and create. And then you just have that there. So that might be something that you'd want to do if you really did an edit that you really loved and you know you're going to want to use it on other collections and things like that. Just go ahead and make a preset. So those are my three favorite ways to copy the editing style from one photo onto another photo or onto a whole group of photos and it was really easy. I told you guys it was easy and it was easy. So if you want some more easy Lightroom editing tutorials, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, do all the things. It makes me smile, makes me feel good, especially on a Monday, you gotta feel good. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.